in USB mic. Okay, now now I should be able to be uh heard. I I kind of mentioned on the um like log for this stream or on the, the description that this is my first time ever streaming on YouTube. It's my first time streaming anywhere in uh, <laughs> maybe like two or three years. So we're going to be fixing some bugs uh, with the stream here and there. So feel free to speak up if if you can't hear me or you can't hear the game or whatever. Um, so I have never played Skyrim. I've never played any Bethesda game, not Skyrim, not other Elder Scrolls games, Fallout, Starfield. Um, and I have friends who love them so much, and uh, I just haven't experienced them yet. So I want to see what that's like, and I have a feeling it's going to be kind of a good game for um, me to kind of get into, but also be able to walk through the world and interact with chat uh, a good deal. So I'm looking forward to that. It's it's always so much fun when there's more people than just me hanging around. And uh, I can kind of bounce energy off some people. So I see we got some people in there right now. So thank you guys so much for showing up. Uh, without further ado, then, let's pull open the game. So I've opened it just to make sure that it's working, but I've never actually started it. So we're going to check out character creation now because I did that. I did just that part before with a friend of mine on his computer and we just tried to make um, the most ridiculous, idiotic looking character that we possibly could. Uh, at least I think it was Skyrim, but it was <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> just, oh, I've definitely seen this part before. Um, I have made memes of this one, even if I haven't, uh, actually, like, fully played the game. <laughs> Thank you for the note, by the way, that game audio was working. Uh, if there's any, um, if there's anything off on the balance of it, please let me know. Uh, I, I know there's not much going on right now, but that's not something I can hear. <laughs> hey, you. Oh, there he is. Finally awake. Can I turn on, uh, subtitles? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be talking away. Uh, audio display. I never know if there are uh, subtitles in display or in audio. Right. You were trying to cross the border, right? Walked right into that imperial that ambush. Same. Ah, crap. Hang on. All right, settings. Play. It should be on. I'm, I'm just not gonna deal with it. Okay. Us and that thief over there. Damn you, storm Oh, there we go. Skyrim was fine until you came along. Empire was nice and lazy. They hadn't been looking for you. And what an opening to a game, by the way. Thought. Like, like, just kind of throwing you into. Should be here. Storm cloaks, the you know, kind of slow, and they can give you exposition, but it's still also not. They're kind of spoon feeding it to you, but getting you excited at the same time. Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric, Jarl of Windhelm. You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you, oh God, stuff going on. taking us? I don't know where we're going. Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. The environment hey, too. What village are you from? This looks Post cool. Station? I'm. I'm. Why do you care? I'm excited Nord's to figure this out because, like, Skyrim, at least, is so much of a thing Morikstead. among so many of at least my friends that I'm, uh, I'm excited to actually know what it is. Other than, in my mind, it's just kind of general fantasy, like high fantasy adventure open world game. And I don't quite know what makes it special. I'm excited to figure that out. Please help me. So I think I've seen this part just because it's so ubiquitous in uh, gaming. We're gonna go get... Uh, we're, we're gonna go to an execution, I think. And let's uh, let's see how that goes. That guy's that guy's eyes do not look excited about this. He looks like he looks like he's high on something and uh, trying to make us think he's not. Funny, when I was a boy, 
Imperial walls and towers used to make me feel so safe. Yep. And good, I can't spin all the way around. That would have that would have been weird. Why are we stopping? Why do you think? End of the line. I mean, like, let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for us. No, wait, we're not rebels. I don't have control anymore. Face your death All right. some courage, thief. I like those things you. where in a mistake. game you're uh you're kind of in control even during cutscenes unless you absolutely unless they need you to not be like uh Bioshock does a really great job of that of um like you're in control except for that one part that I don't want to spoil Bioshock but it's it's so cool how they you know, kind of keep you immersed into it and aren't taking control away from you all the time. Like, uh, Doom did that too, except then in Doom Eternal, they didn't really... Uh, Doom 26... Ooh, guy's running away. Ooh, the... The youngest Stark kid had something similar to that. Game of Thrones. Spoiler, sorry. Who are you? Ooh, now I get to decide who I am. Is there... Oh, that's a choice. Uh, anyone who's played Skyrim before, is there any, like, uh, consequence to what you choose here? Because otherwise I'm just going to pick, like, uh, kind of, you know, guy I like the look of. But is, is there any, like, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> is there any, um, reason that I should pick one of these over the other? I'm looking over this. I got my like laptop set up over here so I can see chat. Um, if not, I'm just gonna go with probably probably just the Nord because like that looks the most normal to me, and I'm like super boring. Okay, so it, it is really just picking a picking what a guy looks like. I'm boring when it comes to character creation and classes and stuff so I'm just gonna just gonna pick that guy ooh we get to name our character um I gotta pick something fun I'm thinking uh, why is it that whenever character naming comes up I just fully blank on ideas uh I gotta do something like I don't wanna name it after me cause that always that always feels strange when I'm in a video game. Like, whenever in Zelda I'm able to name the protagonist, I just name him Link. Because I like to see it when um, the name Link is in there in the earlier games where it actually, like, puts that name in the game that you name your save file. Because uh, all the later ones, they just have that by default. But I think for this one, we're going to call him... Canoe Jones. And I could explain why, but I don't feel like it. Because uh, there is no explanation for why. To Skyrim, Captain, Hi. What should we do? He's not on the list. Forget the list. He goes to the block. I mean, like, orders, Captain. I'm if sorry. they're at war, like, I mean, that kind of makes sense, I guess. But, like, you also should have Follow some more Captain, due process Captain. to this one. Do I actually, do I have to follow? Nope, okay, they're pushing me along. Because, like, I don't, I don't want to get executed, obviously. Uh, I guess Some that's going to happen, though. Call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and usurp his throne. Okay, you they're not letting that guy talk. That's, that's probably not a good chaos. sign. And now the I like the kind of, it looks like these guys peace. are... Canoe Jones was a venerated trade up and down the rivers. Never carried a lot of cargo, but was able to reach destinations yes, that boats couldn't. Yeah, I like the backstory. I like that there's more to him than a silly name that I picked based off a game of Pictionary that my friends and I would always play, and we'd have Canoe in there way too much. 
Um, okay, I guess I did describe it. Oh, someone's sliding on the ground over there. Fun, fun graphical things. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Ooh, badass line right there. And there he goes. You know, that was actually for like what I was expecting out of the graphics. That was pretty good. That is like a brutal thing for a second there. As fearless in death. Was you know, I actually kind of appreciate the, uh, you guys over in chat helped me out with the backstory a little bit, because when I, when it's, ooh, I think, is there a dragon about to show up? I think I remember this. Are they talking to me? Oh, they're talking to me. That's not good. I'll finish my story in a second, because it looks like this is important. Ooh. Yup, dragon. Yep. Sentries. What do you see? What do you see? What do you mean? It's right there. I do appreciate they're not making me look at the guy's severed head though. That's a cool dragon design. Like I know that there's kind of like a general design for the for like dragons and how they look, yeah, at least in like Western media. But I oh, I can move now. Like, that looks like an armored dragon, and it's got, like, spikes and stuff in such a cool way. Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. Anyways, I like it when chat helps me with my, uh, <laughs> figuring out backstory for the characters, because when it's left up to me, uh, I see someone in chat who will know exactly what I'm talking about here. When I'm left up to the, uh, decide the backstory, um, my character is an accountant who, who um, then left his job to be a ranger. That's the one time I've... Ooh. It's the one time I've ever played D&D &D, that was my character. Uh, can I jump out of here? That was a pretty good jump, too. I don't know why I made him an accountant, but I thought it was just funny and, like, not taking D&D &D too seriously, I thought, because I'd never played it before, would kind of help me... <laughs> Excuse my character for my own lack of understanding. If, if, ooh. I don't think that's where I want to be. Okay, no, I can go through, I guess. But if my character himself was kind of new to the game, then... Then it would make sense that I also didn't know what I'm doing. Oh. And did I not die? Yes, he also tortured everyone he met. I that D&D &D character did break several Geneva conventions. The ragdoll physics in this game are something real special. I guess I can't die during the prologue. I'm gonna follow this guy because, like, I was—he—he's the uh, oh you, you're finally awake guy, right? Because uh. Okay. Uh, I will follow memes to the end of the earth. Sovereign Guard, like their Valhalla or whatever. Looks like we're the only ones who made it. That thing was a dragon. Yep, no that doubt. is the guy. Good. Just like the children's stories and the legends. The harbingers of the end times. This does we such a good moving. job of getting you pumped up for this game. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. I never even noticed that about the aren't going to cut his themselves. roar, the dragon's roar, but that's so good. Let's cut you loose. There you go. May as well take Ganyar's gear. He won't be needing a bit. 
Okay, so there are, like, a ton of different paths that you can take, which I knew because it's, like, a huge open world thing, right? But, like, yeah, I guess I'm pillaging this guy. But, like, I, I don't really see myself, like... That armor on Gunyar isn't doing him any good. What am I... Go ahead, take it. Okay, I don't know how I picked him up, but... Ooh, I get a weapon, too. Oh. Okay. I, I don't know what I expected when I took the guy's armor, but I don't know why I didn't expect to see him naked. Uh, but yeah, I'm not planning on, like, replaying the game a bunch of times to find every single possible, like, branching path that I possibly can, because that's just not what I enjoy in games, but... Yeah, did I hold the E key instead of tapping? <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's the mistake that I made, but it was funny enough that I'm glad I made the mistake. It's the Imperial they cover. Do I need to, like... It's the put on my clothes. Okay, yeah, inventory apparel. Okay. It looks like I'm wearing something now. And I've got that. Prisoners. Press R to ready your weapon. Okay. And I get to try out some melee comics. What's M1? What What is the... Oh, mouse one. It looked like a, a shoulder button. For some reason, the, like, you know, UI element looked like it was telling me to press a, a shoulder button. How, how good is that sword compared to the thing I got? Uh, they're the same amount of damage. Uh, what's value? Oh, is it just, like, how much you can sell it for? I'm gonna keep the axe for now, I guess. Ooh, like, more armor and stuff. That's fun. And the captain's got nothing on him. The, the, Here we are. Or wait. Okay, I know, I already pillaged the captain. Okay, that makes more Tell sense. Does it make sense all. to just take everything? Uh, and, or is there, like... Weight restrictions on me. Like, if I just take every single item, am I gonna like suddenly move slowly, or is it video game logic? I can carry an infinite amount. This feels a bit like a Dark Souls area here. Okay, I guess I don't have to deal with those guys. Uh, you do have a carry limit. Interesting. Jump in the basket. What basket? Was there a basket up here? Was there a sprint key? I guess not. Okay. Yeah, I don't see a basket. I know you're going to yell at me about that once we get on Discord next time, but... <laughs> oh well. So I don't yet see many opportunities to violate Gene Kettle? To the okay, like back up here on the stairs. I don't see yet see many opportunities to uh, uh, violate the Geneva Conventions as this character. Jumping and it just seemed to make me slow fall. It seems like there's a 20 second delay, by the way, between, like, me and chat, but, you know, that's... Alright, here's a... Oh, here's another dead Imperial. Did did the guy take care of... I'm not gonna learn names. No, you can't... Oh! Oh, carry weight. I see that now. I'm not gonna learn names of people. You can't make me. Um... This is... Ooh... Potions seem to make sense to take. And right now, since I'm, like, well below my carry limit, it seems, I'm just gonna, like, just take everything and see if I can sell it. Done. Let's get I moving. can pickpocket him? I don't wanna. You guy help me. Is there a sprint key? Because he seems to be running a lot faster than me. Control, I guess. Ooh. 
that really happened quick. <laughs> so the blue guys here are the Stormcloaks, I guess. Looks like there's something in this cage. Oh. Ah, it's locked. See if you can get it open with some picks. We might just, not just like once we get out. It's like Grab old steel. We could just pry it go. open. Ooh, ooh, a shield. That might be helpful. We can close the door. So I'm looking for like lock picks. I think. I don't. Oh, I have lock picks. Use mouse to rotate the lock pick. And w to rotate the lock. The closer the pick is to the correct position, the more lock will rotate. So. So it was pretty close my first try. Did I break it? Oh, I have 11 lockpicks left. Oh, okay. So I was like almost there the very first time I ever did that. Gold. I like gold. Alright, now I'm getting pretty close to the carry limit. So. You can get a lightning spell in this room to torture people. Ooh. Oh, red text. Thank you for that. That's helpful. Where can I get a lightning spell? Hmm. Gotcha. For the lock picking mechanics. That's helpful. So, okay. So that is the lightning spell, is the book. I know people who have played Skyrim are, are like, looking at me and being like, how... How can you not get this? But I it's actually really helpful to have someone just to kind of explain the minutia of the mechanics. Like, whenever I don't play Minecraft for long enough, there are always little bits that I forget and extra that, um, like, will help me out, but I just don't want to. Don't worry. We'll get that and doing it with, like, other people helps with the, the, like, little bits that I'm just like, wait, now what is... Uh, I don't know what was added to Minecraft recently, but what does the netherite do? I know what netherite is, but like as an example, that was added since I kind of stopped playing Minecraft so much, or stopped paying so much attention at least. Die. Okay. Oh, I see. There's his health. Okay. That's helpful. Did anyone here ever play Kingdom Hearts? And like, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, it was like a, you had to get a certain ability after a couple levels that finally lets you see your opponent's health and how much you're taking that down. And before that, you just kind of had to assume that you were doing something to them. And it was it was annoying that that wasn't just a, a given. So, nice that Kingdom Hearts walked so that Skyrim could run in that respect, I guess. How can I not get it? I just don't. <laughs> I'm. I enjoy video games, even if I'm not as good at video games as I should be. It's. It's like little things that I might miss, not necessarily things that are just like completely not understandable. <laughs> There's going to be, like, I don't like the sound of that. There's going to be, like, a spider monster at some point in this game, isn't there? I'm not going to like that. Because I do not like spiders. Let's see what's up here. This looks like a path that you're not supposed to, like, notice on first glance. Here's something fun. Skeleton, he's got gold. Is gold essentially weightless? That's, that's nice. If... You know, ooh, 14 more. If, you know, maybe not super accurate, because, like, gold is famously quite heavy, right? <laughs> this is, like, a well-done environment, though. There's, like, a high amount of detail for the, you know... Anywhere. I know it's Skyrim Special Edition, but it's, like, you know, still considering this was on PS3 and Xbox 360 first, there's a, a lot of nice little details around here. I might just be, have, have been, I might just have had play, what is my talking today? I might have just played, like, 
older games more for oh yep that's exactly what i was thinking about i oh god i hate this i hate this so much oh that's what the scroll book does um can i equip that lightning spell or do i like do i need to have something before i can use that okay uh, I, I don't know what I'm missing here. Spells once learned occupy a hand slot. However you please. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna... Hang on, did I see something with more attack? The mace has more attack. And then can I, like, equip... Can I equip that shield that I got? Why? Where am I? Okay. There we go. There we go. Oh, I really, really hate these fucking things. Oh, that's not cool. Many eyes, no. But yeah, maybe I've just been playing older games too recently and don't remember don't remember exactly the amount of detail that's usually in worlds for this era of games. So it looks like I want to head that way. Like that little triangle up in the top of my HUD is, I think, what I'm supposed to be running at, because that's what was above the guy's heads right at the beginning. Ooh, okay. Is this not a good idea? This is probably not a good idea. Okay, it was fine, I guess. Do I am I like auto regening health? Because I noticed I also picked up like health potions, so I'm not sure about that, but I'm sure that I will learn about it soon. Fun fact, you can loot those spider eggs uh, and eat them. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want to walk all the way back there. Like the way out. I knew we'd make it. Alright. Ooh. Snowy. Auto regen. Okay, nice. Oh. Survival mode. Survival adds a need to eat, sleep, and stay warm. Also adds additional challenges such as no fast travel, reduced carry weight, and leveling up only when you sleep. See the survival. I don't think I'm going to, at least for this playthrough, because at least that's not like. When there's a giant open world, I don't like not having fast travel at some point, but I think I can Wait. I can redo that later if I want to. I didn't read the thing enough. Ah. Okay, yeah, I can change it whenever I want. Wait. Ooh, dragon. There yeah, the goes. character design of that so dragon is so cool. No way to know if anyone else made it out alive. But this place is going to be swarming with Imperials soon enough. We better clear out of here. My sister, Gerda, runs the mill in Riverwood, just up the road. I'm sure she'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. Okay, yeah, no, this, this, what you said about wait till you get outside, this looks fucking massive. <laughs> I am excited to this is massive and also like at least in this area i know they'll pr they probably like specially built that area to be some eye candy for you to look at because it's your first time finally seeing the big open world but there's like ruins up there there's all the trees there's like i love the kind of aesthetic of the change from winter to spring that it seems like we're walking through right now join the stormcloak rebellion I very vaguely remember, like, my sister talking about how uh, choosing the Stormclothes versus the Imperials is, like, a really obvious decision, but, like, you know, you're not given too much information right at the beginning, that one of them is, like, actually quite evil, and the other's not, but I, I sure hope I picked the right one. <laughs> 
By the way, while we're just like walking around, thanks everyone for stopping by. I'm having I'm having a real nice time here, just kind of, just kind of chilling. Ooh, there are fish jumping up the creek. Like that that bear I killed back there would have been happy with that if I hadn't if I hadn't you know killed it. Uh, check out witch stones. Again, there's like a 20 second delay, so. This isn't Stormcloak territory. If we're ahead of the news from Helgen, we should be fine. As long as we don't oh, you just got a taste of the pick. Okay, so I actually do get to make an informed decision. That's nice to know. What is that? It looks like it's gonna charge me. Okay, thank you, guy. Nope, there are more. Alright, do I get, like, a pelt? I do! I do get a pelt! Alright, nice. Hopefully, like, I'm getting close to my carry limit. Um, I hope that, uh, whenever we get into town, I can start selling some stuff just so I'm not dangerously close to that my whole time and I'm having to drop stuff. Um, We're almost to Riverwood. but yeah, thanks, thanks everyone who stopped by for stopping by. It's, it's good to actually have people to talk to. <laughs> so I've been hearing some things about, like, there are little mods to make this game. Uh, you know, obviously there's a lot to, like, add content or do silly things with it, but there, there are mods to, like, make the game run better or improve the graphics of it at some point. I'm playing it completely vanilla right now. But I'm interested in uh, checking out something like that later on, if it truly does help me out with... I mean, it, it's obviously running perfectly fine on my computer. It's not like it's, I don't know, Redfall or Gollum or, you know, something terribly unoptimized. What was the other one that just came out that was, like, horribly unoptimized? I know that that's, like, <laughs> a question of what do you mean that one, but... I'm there, there's another one that I'm thinking of that I just can't remember what it was. I know, oh, Jedi Survivor was, like, not great on PC right at the beginning, wasn't it? I actually want to hear what they're talking about for a sec. Are you hurt? What's happened? And who is this? One of your comrades? I guess, for now, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy to be friends with... Is there somewhere hey, you, you're talk. finally awake. There's no telling when the news from Helgen will reach the Imperials. Helgen? Has something happened? You're right. Follow me. Hold. Come here a minute. I need your help with something. What is it, woman? Stand drunk on the job again? <laughs> Hod, just come here. Raylon, what are you doing here? Huh. This is a nice little town. I'll be right down. I don't have any other commentary, unfortunately. A mod that I really need is Sky UI. What does that one do? Because, like, I'm... You know what? I'm actually just going to... If if anyone has mod suggestions, I'm just going to write down a little list on my phone here. Uh, notes. And then, like, check them out before the next stream, which will probably be in, like, a week. Sky UI. All right. Nope, that just cracked this guy. All right. Look at you. Almost a grown man. Don't be long before you'll be joining the fight yourself. That's right. And good Don't luck with your Pokemon friendly. Go, man. I won't let those soldiers sneak up on you. Oh. No. Okay, friendly dog. Hey. Okay. What's going on? You two look pretty well done in. Uh, Ooh. I can't remember what That's I some strong facial hair. That guy looks like a blacksmith. The See, I'm not having any problems with the UI as of like yet, exactly but I'm also, I've got like, how long have I been streaming for? Two days ago now. Uh, I've been streaming for half an hour, and so I can see how there will be a lot of things that might pop up later on that uh, are going to make me want to... fighting for your own people make the UI a little bit more useful that I just haven't gotten to yet because I know that just using the UI to pick out 
a thing or two. Actually, it's even kind of not intuitive picking out which weapon you're going to have because you're just kind of scrolling. I wish there was like an item slot that you had. Um, again, some of this could just be me being very early in the game, but we'll see. Nobody else has come up the south road today, as far as I know. Good. Maybe we can lay up for a while. I hate to put your family in danger, Gerda. Okay, so we're not in Stormcloak territory, he said. So we're we're still in kind of like unfriendly territory, I guess. And this is, if I'm saying anything wrong, someone feel free to just jump in and correct me because I'm paying more attention to stream and gameplay than actually like the story. Key to the house. Oh, what did she say? Ah, if, if only just to... Can I just take things from her? Okay. Uh, as if to illustrate my point, yeah, I'm just there is something you could do paying a lot more attention to the gameplay and stream than the actual story, and so if I miss something, I might need someone to point need that to out to me. To in Whiterun to send whatever troops he can. If you'll do that for me, I'll be in your debt. Okay. Thanks, sister. I knew we could count on you. I think it's cute to open I ought the to get back to work before I'm missed, but. Did I don't have anything happening when I'm hitting Q. I'm switching to it. I do want that. I do want, like, like Breath of the Wild has a really good kind of, like, quick switch, which isn't, like, maybe the best I've ever seen, but, like, for having just an inventory full of different bows, I like that you're able to switch them on the fly just by hitting the D-pad. Obviously, I'm playing on a keyboard right now, but... Is Skyrim better with a keyboard or with, like, a controller? Because, like, I mean, I've got this right here. I can try it out if I want to and just kind of judge which one's better. But especially for first-person stuff, I usually prefer mouse and keyboard because, like, I get a lot better control. Because, like, when you're when you're controlling a first-person... When you're controlling look around and aiming with the controller, you have to do literal calculus in your head. You have to do, like you know, figure out the rate that it's moving at and how far you have to do for that and stop at the right time. And I don't know. This one's just I hope to point see you to point to point. Good luck. All right. So I got a map. Ooh, world map. World map locations you discovered are light icons. Well, locations you only heard about are dark icons. I like that. I like that it seems kind of populated by... Uh... You know, we have kind of a general idea of the land, but it's populated by what people have said to us, not just like, ooh, you discovered this tower that's going to scan the area and give you your your objectives. It seems like a good, like, lore-based way to put markers on your map, even if, you know, obviously having a compass right at the top of your vision isn't necessarily the most... A realistic way to be navigating anywhere. That's at least not what I've ever had. Alright, so can we just like head out and head over there? Actually, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna go see if I can sell stuff out of my carry limit. See if I can make some gold. A nice way to spend a Sunday night. It's getting hot in here. Give me a sec, I'm opening my window. I love this this room that I have for my office, but it's not, like, super well ventilated. And so since I got the computer over there and it's, like, you know, big and produces a bunch of heat, it makes this room heat up so much. Um, that looks like an inn. Sleeping giant inn. Um, and so I need to open my window every once in a while, which is nice in the winter because it's I live in New England and it's like super cold out right now. So I can get a nice cooling breeze in. Uh, I'm sure my computer and its heatsink are happy about that, too. But like in the summer, I'm kind of just stuck here. Um, I've got air conditioning, but, you know, I can't really tell that to, uh, you know, just run in my office. So either my whole house is cold or my office is super hot. Um, so if, if you guys hear, like, too much noise coming from outside the window, let me know, and I'll something. close it. I Traitor no. should be. No adventures, no theatrics. Well, I don't know what you overheard, but the Riverwood Trader is still open. 
Feel free to shop. Am I uh, able to like yeah. sell stuff to him? We did have a bit of a an ornament, solid gold in the shape of a dragon. Okay. Claw. You could. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. Side quest. Nice you going. My claw back. But yeah, if something if something's like <laughs> loud and annoying, let me go. Head to Bleak Falls Barrow, northeast of town. Do the questions for a trailer before yes. you head to White Run. So There's some funny dialogue. Oh, I'm in for that. If you tell me it's funny dialogue, I'm absolutely going to. I'm absolutely going to do a little bit more. So can I like? Is there like a quest view? Okay, favorites is Q. Nice. No, you were right about that then. Quick inventory, quick match. I the eight. Fuck. Uh, journal. Quest. Okay. The golden claw. Retrieve the golden claw. I will. Stolen by bandits camped in Bleak Fall Burrow. Um, is that like? Do I need? better equipment if I want to do that or can I just like kind of run in there with what I got alright um how far do I have to go for that um let's go to the world map okay it's not it doesn't look like it's that far away but uh, okay Whatever. All right, let's. We have to go a normal to town difficulty should be doable. I haven't changed anything about difficulty, so, like, yeah. Difficulty adept. Yeah, let let's keep it at adept for now. I'm not like great at games like this. Well, I am like halfway through Dark Souls, which isn't, which I know isn't a huge flex that I'm making it sound like it is for no reason. But w once I learn the combat system a little better, I should be better at it. But I'm also noticing now I don't think I have any ranged weapons. So like, nothing's coming up when I hit Q, for which you know is the favorites key that I just saw in the controls menu. So interesting there. You know what? I ran back into the town to find... Oh, is that an enemy? Ooh. To find someone to buy my stuff. And then I didn't. And then I left. And... I, I don't know what was going through my head there. Uh, I guess I'll do that next time I'm in town. Oh, you might have to mark stuff off as a favorite in the inventory first. Let's try that. Weapons. Do I have any ranged weapons? No, not so much. Where, what am I currently wearing? Okay, so it's that. I'm gonna put on the Imperial thing. I hope that people don't get upset at me for that. But like, it's it's more armor, so that hopefully shouldn't be too bad of a thing. Why do I feel like I'm moving slower now? Oh, they have weight values. All right, let's take off a little bit of weight because I'm I'm already kind of annoyed with the speed that I'm moving at. Um, oh, I was crouched. Never mind. I'm just an idiot. All right. So I can I can put back on the the what's it called the better boots. But even for that, I I would have liked to have like. I would have liked to have, like, an inventory slot, like Minecraft. I'm talking about Minecraft a lot this stream, but about, um... Ah! 
Oh, you can hold up to line up. Uh, you know, like like something that tells you, okay, you can put on a. Okay, I'm almost there. Like you can put on a chest plate and. Uh... Now ain't this a surprise? Okay. Stamina low. Drink a potion or wait for it to recover. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So that's essentially the same thing as stamina in like other games, but yeah. Oh, what happened to my shield? It, does it pause when I do this? Or like... Uh, uh, iron shield. Right. What? What happened there? Oh, did the camera just not know where I'm at? I think I'm gonna have to go. Ooh, there's a chest. Banded guard armor. Ooh. Oh, tons of gold. I'm carrying too much to be able to run. Was I able to run before? Did I just. not know the key to it? No, I'm definitely a lot slower. So let's. let's deal with that. So my armor rating's gonna go up if I put that on. Uh, I can definitely get rid of some of this. So. Let's. Just start throwing stuff out. Uh, that looks, some of those look high value. Not really that one though. Yeah. Um, weapons. I don't need two iron maces, I don't think. Do weapons break in this game? Put items in the chest. Okay. That... <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense. I can find them later if I uh, feel the need to. So... So, okay, artist door this time. I'll keep the arrows. Keep the... I probably want to equip the Warhammer. That looks nice. For, for you know, more damage than I'm able to do right now. Um, but other than that, like, I'm below weight limit now because I lost a bunch of stuff. Okay, well, there's some. I think the rest of it I dropped on the floor down there. Yeah, okay, I, I, I'm glad I know now what weight limit looks like. Weapons and armor don't break. Nice, thank you. So I don't have to worry constantly like I was in uh, Breath of the Wild. So, yeah, we can store a bunch of crap. Okay, we're, we're well below the weight limit now. Uh, and let's, let's equip that Warhammer, because that was like, yeah, that was a lot more, um, damage, but I, oh, is this like a two-handed thing, and so I can't use a shield? I guess I'm good with that. Let, let's, let's see how my combat style ends out being. Where do I go from here? Do I just go further up, I guess? Because I came from down there, I'm pretty sure. If anyone's... Banded armor is the worst? Why? Is it just because it's heavy? Oh, 
figure that out in a minute. Actually, block and bash with two handed weapons. Will I be able to block, like, arrows with two handed weapons? Because currently it just kind of seems like. You know, I'm going to have to have Jedi precision. Precision if I want to block an arrow. I'm just going to. I don't know if there are. There's. Oh. I think they saw me already, so I'm just going <laughs> to. All right. Did he get an arrow in in the arm? I don't think you can unless you're lucky. Yeah, that makes sense. I I don't think. I mean, I as the person, Josh, certainly wouldn't be able to block arrows with this thing. Ooh. Interesting. It cut. It it switches to the like glory hill uh, kill cutscenes every once in a while. All right. I don't see any enemies nearby. Weight to protection ratio, that makes sense. I'm okay with doing what I'm doing for now, though. Alright, what do we got here? Got some guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave those for now. What's a skeever? Well, it skeever's got gold, that's all I know. Oh, they hate me. Alright. Alright. What is this down here? Is this just like cobwebs? Well, I can walk straight through it, so. I guess just none of them have been through this way in a super long time? Ooh, I'm I'm gonna like desecrate a grave there. F5 to quick save. Okay. Is there anything wrong with uh, taking gold from the dead here, from out of burial urns? Because like they're not using it, so. And I will like deal with my weight limit in like a little bit, but probably after this mission or after this uh, uh, this quest here. Minor stamp. Just because, like, I don't like stopping in the middle of places like this. I know it's probably fine, but, like, I don't need to. You'll desecrate so many graves in this game. Okay, I'm glad. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, so I'm just going to... I'm just going to take from the dead. They're not... More for me. Ooh. Was that me or him? Oh, that was him. Okay. I couldn't tell for a second because I kind of forgot what I looked like. Ooh. That... That wasn't good. Is there something I need to do to open that door? might awaken the angry dead sometimes, but as they say, it do be like that sometimes. Yeah, okay. See, as long as I promise never to do it in real life, I think I'll be fine. Okay. So obviously that lever isn't actually what I want. Even though I've now tried it twice and gotten the same result twice, so I don't know why I thought that would be a good idea. Oh, okay. So I want snake. Snake? Fish, I guess, or whatever that is. Puzzle, instead of just like, instead of just brute forcing walking your whole way through. Okay, yeah, that did it. Is there treasure room? Because I don't think I'm gonna find my thing in here. A soul gem. There's nothing in these burial urns. Why are why are these people? Okay, at least there's gold there. Why are these people not like sending their their loved ones off? to the afterlife with thief reader not yet do i really feel like doing reading i might read it later but like i can take it okay 
I might do some reading later, but like, didn't Brian David Gilbert do like <laughs> reading all the Skyrim books as a video for Polygon? Our skeevers basically just giant rats. You're meant to keep stuff in, not out. Ooh, I like that. That's that's a cool little bit of lore. Some books will actually raise your skills when you read. Surprise. Is it like, do I have to actually read it or can I just flip through it? I don't know why I'm taking the linen route. I'm so used to just like walking around collectathon games with no weight limit. I. <laughs> that's probably a bad thing, but it's like, like, I keep mentioning Zelda, but I'll just play Zelda. And, you know, I can just pick up everything, so as soon as... Ugh, I hate spiders. I really hate spiders. This this isn't going to be a good time. Okay. Place my lockpick. Nice. I hope that makes it so the lockpicks don't break as easy. Or maybe health is low. Can I... Okay, okay, so it does pause it when I... Potions, potion minor. Okay. Okay, okay, it's dead. I hate those things. Get me down, get me down. You, over here. It's coming next. I can feel it. But yeah, whenever I'm playing Zelda, I just pick up everything, and that's probably not a good thing, but I I really want to have that skill. Every skill lock pick me game makes a sweet spot. Okay, so it does both of the things I said. Nice. For lock picking. But I really wish that that was just kind of my my mentality in real life is just whenever I see something take it. I mean, yeah, certainly the law will probably have a, a problem with me doing just that. Or or, you know, some some doctor might say, oh, you're, you're a kleptomaniac then, but like, who cares? I get what I want. And, uh, you know, if you just left it out such that I could take it, it's not like, ah, I should have learned that. Um, you know, I saw that happen to the other guy and then I didn't do anything about it. Um, and it sent me back to where I quicksaved. I should have paid more attention to that. <laughs> this game is made for... See, I love to pick everything up. Oh, fuck. Do I have to kill the spider again? I don't want to kill the spider again. I... <laughs> you know, you told me how to quick save, and then I just didn't pay enough attention. Or I, I like, had forgotten about that. I was play When I was playing Half-Life, I was quick saving every 20 feet. Why did I not do that in this one? Now ain't this a surprise? Okay. The melee combat in this seems serviceable but not too deep so far. I I I kind of hope there's something... Okay, it's the same thing. It's not like it randomizes. I kind of hope there's something I'm missing about that, but we'll see. Alright. Quick save. Uh, did I have anything interesting up here? Oh, the book. Oh, that's what... Okay, I thought that that was just kind of a... That happens, that was because of something else. I didn't put two and two together, which I realize now is kind of dumb of me, but oh well. And then that thing didn't have any in it because that dead guy is poor. I gotta deal with skeevers down here. Or not, maybe that was a previous staircase. Ah, no, nope, there's one. Okay, at least they, they take one hit, then keel over. Um. Oh. Frick you, that's what. Bows are the most fun thing in Skyrim. Okay. 
I, I usually enjoy ranged combat a lot more in these types of games than melee anyways, so let's let's see how that goes. And yep, I gotta kill the spider. It, I like games that have some sort of arachnophobia mode. Not that I take advantage of it all the time, but like... This is unpleasant. I, I know that I'm not the worst when it comes to um, needing the arachnophobia mode, but like... It's still, I'm not gonna say no to it. Like, um, I, I haven't actually played Lethal Company yet, but... Um, I know that it has one where it just replaces the spider with a little thing that says spider. Oh, I love the bullet time at the cost of draining stamina. I, like, when I was playing Horizon, I used that all the time. Damn, I keep searching the burial urns. And, okay, that guy was... Oh, that guy had a ring, too. Thank you, whoever made that one, for sending your family member off to the afterlife with stuff. Um, obviously, he doesn't have it anymore, and you ended up benefiting me. But, um... Okay, I... <laughs> if you find that mod... I'm, I'm gonna make a note of that mod that replaces... Replaces the spiders. With Spider-Man. Okay. Druggers. Like, it, like yeah. Oh, they're, they're, like, called the same thing as they were in, like, God of War, so I guess it's, like... I mean, I could see how it's definitely Norse-inspired, some of the kind of lore here. But I... I like that. Oh, did that guy die? Oh, did I get the Golden Claw? Do I not have to go any further in? Is, is it worth it to go further in? Alright. So let's... Getting slaughtered, so it's... I like that you miss the... <laughs> Yeah, I did betray. I did miss that he betrayed me completely. Um, <laughs> I only noticed that now that you say. Um, I'm saying um way too much. I quick save. Let's see if there's something interesting. Go all the way if you feel like you pick up more treasure on the way. Okay, how do I get around that thing, though? Oh, I literally just get around it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, these guys are waking up. At least I can, it seems like I can actually attack them during their, like, you know, waking up animation. So they're not, they don't have, like, weird invincibility frames right before it. Okay, we got traps. I, a part of me is just saying run through it and see if you got good timing, but I quick say, let's. Oh, that worked. I thought there was going to be a little bit more to that. Oh, and that turns it off. Okay. So that one is to keep people out, not in, I guess, because they're like... Turning it off was over there. Okay, that was a bad decision. What did I think would happen if I hit that? Shooting Draugrs in their graves. Ooh. I do like... It. I suppose this isn't the last place I'm going to be seeing Draugrs. Which, that would... That would make sense uh, that they wouldn't just use an enemy once and then... <laughs> for this one dungeon early game, and then you'd never see it again. All right, guy. Ah, that's not fair. He shouldn't have a shield when I don't. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do a potion. Is that like a... Should I not be stepping in that stuff? It looks like oil. It looks like someone spilled oil on some water. Okay. Hurt by environmental traps too. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. But I don't know why I triggered that 
you know, flaming barrel hanging above me when there was only me. When if I had thought about it for even like one second, I would know that it wouldn't just be that it would do something bad to me. That was probably like would have been great. If I, okay, guy coming out of coffin. But that would have probably been great if I had, you know, a bow and arrow. If you level up, you get a free. There's like. Something in the YouTube UI. You get a free heal too. Oh, okay. What do I have to... Oh, I can level up through there. Then I'm going to save that for a minute. Because I'm making it through here just fine. DD, I just touched the thing. It will only end badly. Yeah, but I'm going to touch the thing anyway. Yeah, that's... There are some games when they teach me to not trust the game. Uh, where I don't touch everything. Like, um, I, why am I not remembering? But there are some games where it's like, okay, I'm going to be distrustful of everything. And then I'm just going to probably not pick up even some important things. And there's some games like this where it's like, okay, in general, everything's been good to me, and so I'm gonna try and hit things even if I know I shouldn't hit them. I've let my guard down way too much. And that's probably a problem with me. This is quite nice. Okay, am I finally back outside? Nope. Still monsters. I need, like... I need, like, a nice cozy game at some point where I'm just, like, I don't gotta kill stuff all the time. Like, I'm okay. Ooh, I have to lockpick this one. I forgot it was... Ooh. I'm getting close. I forgot it's a W. I was trying to click. There we go. Ooh. That's like the helmet that, if I remember correctly, that's like... Was on a cover of the game. Or was like an icon of it, at least. That's what I thought. Darkest Dungeons teaches you to not touch things unless you know how to touch them. Yeah. I mean, and like... To be fair, my job also teaches me that. I'm like, you know, in the lab at work, and it's like, yeah, don't don't touch the machines or the chemicals or something unless you know how it works. And I'm like, yes, absolutely. I understand that. That's to keep me and those around me safe. And then I get into video games, and I don't have to do that anymore. And all of that pent-up desire to want to touch things that I had at work all day all of a sudden comes out, and I'm I'm wanting to grab stuff even when I know it's a bad idea. Ooh. Ooh, he's speaking something. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep touching stuff even if I even if I I know that it's a bad idea. Okay, broke it. And then I immediately got I should have just started in the middle, I guess. But you know, Again, video game logic tells me it's equally as likely that the sweet spot will be anywhere. Okay, so now it seems like I'm actually leaving. Or going into somewhere else. Bleak Falls Sanctum. I feel like there's going to be a good amount of treasure in here. In that I'm going to want to touch more stuff. But it's going to continue to be a bad idea. Alright, we've done this before. Oh, they don't insta-kill you. Okay. Okay, now I'm leveling up. Ooh. Oh, this is what that's from. From, like, leveling up. When your level increases, you must choose to increase your health, magic, and stamina. You can also select a new perk at this time, or save it for later. Uh, available perks are highlighted in each constellation. Okay, so, like, I... Whenever I'm playing a kind of game like this, I 
don't pay as much attention as I should to where I'm putting my stats. Like, so I play Dark Souls, and I'm just like, I don't read anything online. I don't put much thought into it. I'm just like, hey, I died in that last battle because I didn't have enough health, which is obviously how you die in every battle. Uh, stamina also increases carry weight. Okay, that's that's a helpful thing. But yeah, if I'm like, okay, that's how I die in every battle, I'm like, okay, I just want to increase my maximum health. But then, obviously, <laughs> there are other things, too, that are good for a good build. I think... I haven't had too much health problem. It's just like when I get into big battles. So for this one, I am going to go for stamina. All right. And, yep, nice. I, I get that all up. Oh, I go up to level 2, so I'll do health. Health is the safest bet most of the time. Stamina is a good bet if you do more physical combat. Mana, you can just about ignore unless you're a mage or an enchanter. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go for stamina for the first one because of that carry limit thing because I'm a greedy little guy. And uh, then I'll go for health because um, that's how I lost my last battle. So I'm guessing... School of District. I can pick any of these perks, right? Speech 100. Um, <laughs> I can pick any of these perks, right? It's not like I'm going to lock myself into a path. Because I think... Yeah, I've been getting leveled up on other stuff. So... I'm just going to do... This guy makes it easier to cast. This guy makes it easier to cast spells. Are these all... They're not all spell things, right? Perks are gated behind skill levels. Okay. Armor, sneak, block, pick, 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 speech, alchemy, illusion, conjuration, destruction. Ugh. See, that for a second seemed just like the strength stat, but I guess that's two handed weaponry. Most important choice is between light or heavy armor, or one or two handed. I've been using two handed for now. And it seems like, yeah, I can't really block arrows, but that doesn't seem like too big of a deal. So I think I'm just going to stick with two-handed. How can I... Yeah. Oh, blue is all magic-y. That makes sense. And yeah, I see I can spend them later if I wish. In fact, I'll probably do the rest later. Ooh, what's my carry limit up to now? 305. Nice, it went up by 5. That's like 5 more units of stuff I can carry and sell for gold because I am greedy. Ooh, there are those things I could drop on them, but like I don't have a ranged weapon to do that with. carrying too much all right <laughs> like i said this this is how it's gonna be weapons i can get rid of actually i'm gonna equip that one um i can get rid of some of these though Okay, I'm below carry limit now. Um, Ancient Lord Warhammer. There we go. Can I have bow and uh, sword equipped at the same time? There are armor sets out there which give you more carry capacity. Nice. Also, high skill in your favorite armor type lets you ignore some of the weight of your armor. I'm probably going to have to think about which armor do I like more in that case then, because... See, I don't necessarily want to optimize for weight capacity. I want to be a little bit smarter about how I equip my character. But you have to switch between them. How do I switch between them, though? Do I just have to go into the menu? Or, like, I couldn't figure out how to mark something as favorites. There's a bow 
oh, that's how you mark his favorite. I'm just okay. I'm I'm literally just blind because I can't see the the big thing down here that says press F for favorite. And then I can Q and switch. Q and then do I have to click it? Okay, I guess so. This is a cool room. Activate. Is that the... thing that I have? How, what do I... Oh, it's another puzzle. Fun. That was rude. The solution is... Golden Claw. So it's like bear, dragonfly, owl. Alright, so we got bear. We've got another bear. Dragonfly. And owl. I guess that's an owl. No? Let's see for a second. Uh, all golden claw, bear, dragonfly, owl. That should be right, is it not? <laughs> oh, it, it was. I just was <laughs> completely impatient. So should I? I'm gonna make my camera view on. Give me a second, I'm just gonna make my camera view on OBS a little smaller so you can see more of the game. There we go. You don't have to see my stupid face that whole time. Okay. Uh, quick save, because I keep forgetting to do that, and it looks like we're finally getting up to another point where I might die. Just because there's, like, stuff happening. Such a cool room, though. Oh, is that, like, an altar? I love that. Bats. See, a part of me think, oh, well, there's an arrow pointing to it. Word of power learned. Force, unrelenting force. Find the blue false barrow, bring the claw to Lucan. Okay. Dragger over. that there's other stuff that I can... Nice. Now I'm just kind of excited to head back to town and, like, see people. Instead of... People that are alive, rather. Because we, we got the Draugrs, but, like... Don't forget to loot that boy. Okay. Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. I'm so inconsistent with how I go about my um, pick up everything kleptomaniac policy. Don't. Dragonstone? Iron shield. Okay, gold. Ancient sword of cold. Alright, so I'm, I'm overweight now, so let's walk over to this chest. See what we want to put back. Uh, yeah, thank you for telling me to go back. Is the normally does it for later? Oh yeah, well I don't want to come back through this dungeon if I don't need to. Um, you know what? I'm gonna. Q 
can I put stuff in the chest? Okay, I'm just pressing the wrong button. Uh, weapons, weapons sound heavy. The meter on the sword of cold indicates how much power it has left for the magical effect. When the magic is drained, you recharge it with soul gems. Good thing I've been picking up soul gems. Oh, okay, like that. That deal right there. I, I see that you um can't <laughs> see where I'm actually pointing on the screen, so I should probably use my mouse. But, yeah. Dagger, iron war axe. I don't think I'm going to be needing that. Oh, wait, I'm below carry weight, so... Let's just go home. And sell stuff and get money. Because money does actually make the world go round. If we didn't have money, um, the world would be standing still. Uh, and that's why there's no life on Earth. Or on uh, uh, places other than Earth. It's they don't have money. I can just, I can just take the skull. Okay. You guys know I love gold. If anyone... If anyone gave me just, like, a bunch of gold for... Okay, that loading screen was so short, I did not have enough time at all to see what it said. But if anyone just wants to, like... Give me gold for... Whatever reason. Uh, let's remove that marker. And then I want to... Bring the Iron Claw to Lucan. Let's see how I get out of here. I would not say no to just some random good Samaritan giving me gold, is all I'm saying. I don't know how this conversation went that way. Steal skulls. <laughs> so I shouldn't have stolen that skull, is what I'm hearing now. Um, like I said, I'm just going to pick everything up. Crap, I'm stuck here. How do I get unstuck? How how do I get unstuck? <laughs> this I, I I genuinely need help. Can we not fast travel from here? Let's see. Fast travel. Yes, okay, thank you. <laughs> I collect skulls in Skyrim. That doesn't I don't know why, but your game, knowing you personally, your gameplay style doesn't bode well for me and what I want to do. <laughs> Alright, so where, where is Lucan? Did I walk straight past him? I did. There's my guy. The sooner you, you found it. <laughs> there it is. Some smaller than it seems smaller is that like a thing or is it just he <laughs> forgot thing, huh? I'm going to put this back where it belongs I'll, I'll never forget this you've done a great thing for me and my sister see that's actually bigger than I thought it would be when I have it like you know next to a guy and I kind of know the size that a guy can be Type he'll see if you ever get stuck somewhere you can't fast travel there's a lot of funny commands. Such first time Skyrim players have to go through all this jank and pain. Yeah. You know. Um. Yeah. Okay. Give me just a moment. I'm getting a like error message from YouTube for some reason that like my Okay, no, it was just like my bitrate dipped like an hour ago. Or, oh no, that was recent. I just didn't know what time it is. And he was still angry at me for it. These aren't red, so apparently he won't get angry if I take them. Can I sell Thank stuff you to him? so much for taking care Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Barter. I was about to divide our line blowing. I blow the line. Okay, so I can sell stuff to just this guy. Um, oh, he has an amount of gold, too. That makes sense, actually. 
Some may call this junk. Take a look. Crap. Okay, the UI is kind of screwing with me. Take a look. Okay, so this is. There we go. So. I'm definitely going to sell that. If target dies in three seconds, fills a soul gem. Ooh, okay, so do soul gems like. Bitrate is a bit meh, it's a little blocky, but not too bad to enjoy. Okay, good. At least I have, like, you know. I took so many silver cups and plates from someone after delivering his mail. Yeah, I'm... I don't know why, but it's, like, the funniest thing for me when I, like, steal from someone right in front of him. Like, like in video games. Because, like, you know, they're not programmed to uh, do anything about it, so... That's not gonna cause me any issue. All right. Um, potions, scrolls. I probably want to keep scrolls, right? But yeah, I'm glad that my bitrate on the stream is okay. Because, so, like, when I was moving into this house, we had a choice between getting internet from Comcast and Verizon. And they were the same price. But Com or, uh, Verizon's upload rate, which we have, is, um, what's it, it's, it's like 400 megabits per second. Comcast's upload rate was only, like, 10. And so, you know, basically nothing. Is there a place I could... There's an inn just down the way. And so I'm glad that we got the, you know, internet that actually uploads at a reasonable modern rate. Yeah, that's the inn. Because it's nighttime. I don't like walking around at nighttime in video games just because, like... Again, this is the thing where I think Zelda's scared the crap out of me for no reason. Orgnar, are you um, listening? You got no clothes. You should get some. You got no clothes. Hard not to. Am I? Yale is going back. Wait. Need to get a new I forgot to put something on. <laughs> okay, that that one's on me. Uh. Helmet. I know. Did I sell all of my like normal clothes? Okay. Yeah, that one's... Um, interesting to see that they've got, like, an extra little bit of dialogue tree in there for that very specific uh, circumstance during which I'm... Okay, let's see if he... We got rooms and food. Okay. Too. I cook. Ain't much else to tell. Can I just, like... Yep. Walk yeah, and bad. go to sleep. I guess you don't have potatoes in your ears after all. Just make sure we get a fresh batch in soon. Well, here, what, what if I I want to learn more about? I'm just a cook, lad. Magic. Looking to blow yourself up? I hear that's what magic does to you. There's a college. Why have I heard of the college in Winter magic, Unless that blew up too. Be a lot safer just to have the Jarl's wizard teach you a thing or two. Visit the College of Winterhold. Okay, so there's a thing. Can I use the alchemy lab? I don't know how to do it. Heard there have been voice. whispers. A boy up in Windhelm, name of Aventus Aretino, been trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Ooh. So he's just like giving me quest after quest. Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Oh, that's more fun. I don't know why when I clicked the thing saying I'm looking for work, I thought that he was just going to be like, yeah, come stock my shelves. Because that like, that would be reasonable to pay someone to work for, but it would be stupid in a video game. Oh, okay, the other person does the rooms. Until next but like time. he said, hey, I've got rooms. You're that visitor been poking around. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. All right, there we go. So where do I go to my room? Is that like... Oh, 
Oh, these are doors. You cannot sleep in an old bed. Oh, okay. Rest for how long? What's the number? Is it hours? Is it days? I'm just gonna see what four does for me. Okay, it's hours. I'm well rested. It's like 8 a.m. That's like the perfect time. But did you ever have like, you know, those math teachers in elementary school who would just be like, you'd write down your answer and it's like, oh yeah, the length of the triangle or the length of this side is seven. And you go, oh, what? Seven meters, seven feet, seven hours. That wouldn't make sense for a triangle. So you got to like, you know, write down an actual thing or a, a unit or else they'll they'll get all pissy at you even though like obviously it's seven meters or whatever was already in the questions i understand how this works just i don't know why when i was like an elementary schooler for some reason i had like this weirdly strong aversion to writing any sort of actually i want to go in my quests but um Oh, wait, okay. I'm gonna follow like the main quest. I had like a weirdly strong aversion when I was in elementary school, and maybe some of middle school, to writing literally anything more than the absolute bare minimum I had to on paper for an assignment. So like, if I could get away with getting like even eighty percent of my grade, but by writing ten percent less, I would. And it's not, it's not like thinking out an answer. I would type stuff just fine. I just hated the physical act of writing something down on paper. Let's walk a tiny bit faster. Okay, so like CSGO logic there. If I, yeah, okay, this is nicer. Where is my, like... Okay, so it looks like I'm going more or less the right way. Dutch teacher forced us to write out the answer to the question is X and not just the answer. I still hate him for it. Yeah, exactly. So, like, when I was in English class... Oh. Well, that's the danger of not having your weapons ready, I guess. Yeah, when I was in, a, like, English class in high school, they would make us, like, write out Oh, uh, instead of just... They asked something like, Hey, in the text, what color is Jimmy's hat? And you could just say red. But they'd say, Jimmy's hat is red. Because in the text, it says... And then you'd have to write out the full quote of exactly why you knew that. And it's like... It's just so much common sense. I think it automatically draws her up and you click to attack. Oh, let's... Oh, it does. Oh, that makes that so much faster. Thank you for that. <laughs> I promise I know how video games work. See, all my math teacher ever wanted was to put the, a box around the final answer. Yeah. See, like, math, I actually never really had too much of a problem with it. Even we had to write out step by step. Yep. Yeah. We'll be ready. How are you going to be ready against a dragon up here? Where am I, by the way? So I want to be heading, like... Oh, oh! This this is White Run, I guess. There's a surprise to the left, like in the river or where. But yeah, when I was like math, I never had an issue. I I, I enjoyed math as a kid, but. I swear, English like writing out one more sentence than I absolutely had to was like made me want to quit school which obviously I was eight I had no choice but honey brew meter welcome 
I'm the owner and proprietor of hunting. We can introduce citizen characters down this road. Down like just the main road. I need to just kind of like do what I'm doing. <laughs> Also a mod, let the roads show on it, kind of essential. Yeah, no, it's like having, I could understand having just kind of this overview map without roads or anything on it right when you start, but then it would be so nice to be like, once you've walked on a road or seen it, it appears on the map. That would be a kind of cool, like, discovery kind of thing where it's like, oh, your character remembers these roads because they're a great tracker. And, uh, or, or like, you know, good at the geography and just kind of being reminded of this stuff. Whereas, like, the gamer might not always remember exactly where everything is. But it would, I think that would be a good compromise between we want to have this, you know, map that doesn't kind of handhold you. And then also being very functional once you get to see it. Who is this guy? Why is he so tall? Oh, that's why he's so tall. It's because they're they're like fighting him. Hey, watch it! I was helping you out. Look strong. Come to your basker and be a companion. You handle yourself well. You could make for a decent shield, brother. I always choose the mod that makes the map just a paper map. That makes so much sense. Yeah. It, it does make sense, but I also kind of like the aesthetics of this one of, like, I'm not carrying a map, but this is, like, Skyrim in my head is kind of how I'm thinking of it right now. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlack Whitemane up in Yorvaskar. The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. Fight with us and you'll have stories to tell. Come right. up to your Vasker, if you're worth anything in a fight. Am I at some point going to meet the arrow to the knee guy? That's from this game, right? I don't want to sound like an idiot, but... That's the kind of guy I want to meet. Stables. Ooh, it's the cat guy. How can I see? Or like a cat guy. Arrow to the knee is a guard line. Yeah, it's gone with. An astute okay. question, for we are far from home, and this is a cold, hard land. That the wise sense. trader yeah. finds the best opportunities. Even if he must travel far to find them, Skyrim is a ripe opportunity indeed. The dragons I don't like and the how his his like whole face is kind of getting away, wider with certain courage, lines. There is much profit to be made. I I think it might just be the angle that I'm looking at him at. He says so. Skuma? What's Skuma? The road makes this one weary. Take a look. What is Skuma? Oh, that's Skuma. Restore stamina. Just between that and like a. Restores 25 stamina. Is there a difference between these two, or is one of them just the purple version? Skyrim, it's like dope in the Elder Scrolls universe. Oh, it's new as Skyrim drugs. All right, I'll buy one for that. That sounds like fun. Um, you have any like cool weapons or anything? Because uh, so far just kind of seem like weapons that I got and I need to like practice with a bow before I'm going to spend much more money. I can I can run back into them later. 
Okay, when I'm streaming, I need to turn off that thing in the bottom right corner that, like, shows all my Steam friends. Which I've known for a while, I just need to actually get around to turning it off. You can even stack it and fly across the map. Oh, that sounds so great. Hold. City's closed with the dragons about. Official business only. Am I here on official business? It's that one, right? Yeah, I think that makes sense. Valyrian speed reading makes you skill much so much that you got go fast enough to ricochet around the terrain. There's like a thing on my chat overlay that I hear. Actually, can I like give me just one sec? I want to see if I can. All right, this was kind of pointless. I'm, I'm sorry I like interrupted stuff for that. All right, um, I love, so like I don't even necessarily care. Disrespect the law and you disrespect me. I don't even necessarily care about, like, I, I don't enjoy trying to speedrun stuff because there's so much little precise things that you got to do. It just takes so much time to get any sort of good at speedrunning anything. I love watching people speedrun. I love learning about those techniques and trying to figure out how were they able to, to discover such a bug that they were able to do this ridiculous nonsense with this game. And even, like... It's fun to, like, just watch a speedrun and hear someone explaining this, uh, <laughs> to put it at, like, Nakey Jakey, to watch them fart on a game while simultaneously explaining every little trick that they do. Uh, <laughs> and then, like, watching devs react to speedruns every once in a while is so much fun to watch them... <laughs> Watch them lose their heads as someone's breaking a game. I'm I'm talking about this nonsense right now, but this is like a really pretty town, and I like like I would love to visit somewhere like this in real life. Like this looks like, you know, I don't know why I'm thinking this, but if you if you anyone lives in or has been to like Massachusetts and has been to Plymouth Plantation where they have like you know, old-timey houses set up with, like, actors walking around there and you can talk to them about, like, oh, well, when did you come to here? And stuff like that. It looks like this would be a place where they'd set it up and have actors walking around. You could learn the history of this place. I have no clue why that was the one thing that popped into my head while uh, mentioning that, or w while walking around here. But, like, yeah, just look at that. Just the town square with the, like, the ancient tree in the middle. It's got, got a little bit of, um, uh, uh, what's it called? Is that Lord of the Rings? Yeah, the White Tree of Gondor. It's got a little bit of Lord of the Rings vibes to that. I say that as someone who absolutely has no authority to be talking about Lord of the Rings. Can I not go in? Oh, I just have to go off to the side a little bit. Yeah, that's even if high fantasy isn't necessarily my favorite genre, I can very much appreciate the magnitude of the world building that they're doing to this. Oh, that's a like different race of character. Who is this then? Ah, what's with that one? Explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Yarl will want to speak to you personally. So you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Really? You're certainly <laughs> forthright about your criminal past. With a but bunch of it's none of my concern who the Imperials want to execute. Yeah, I really like... Now. What I, I want to try out some of those graphics mods and just see, today. like... Because I'm definitely in this game for the eye candy and world building a little bit more than, like being fully immersed in everything that the gameplay has to offer. 
I'm just now noticing, though, on my, like, stream camera, I don't know why it's been over an hour and a half, and I haven't really noticed, but, like, the lighting on me is garbage on my face cam. I have, like, these lights that I use when I'm filming my actual YouTube videos, but I, um don't have a place to put them so i just ordered a thing where i can like just mount it to the top of my camera um and so next stream hopefully the lighting on me will look a little bit better you know that's not heading this way i think that that's let's try that one i should have guessed ulfric would be mixed up in this Maybe that wasn't the right one what do you say now preventers but yeah, I just kind of cranked the lights right above me, so I'm getting shadows, shadows off my hair and off of my eyes that don't look fantastic. It's in the most immediate danger. If that dragon is lurking in the mountains, that is a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should not. Enough. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Send a detachment to Riverwood at once. <clears throat> yes, my yard. If you'll right. excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would That's like a pretty great chair right there. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service. Well, I mean, I yeah, I sought him out. Here. But like, take this as a small token of my esteem. Someone told me to. There is another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your particular talents, perhaps. Come, yeah. let's go find yeah. Faringar, my court wizard. He's been looking into Ooh, a matter related wizard. to these dragons and rumors of dragons. I was keen for the least work. Best to just read the description, graphics mods you like, and follow the instructions. Yeah. Yeah, that's something that I really love about PC games is kind of like, I have never really explored modding as much as I probably could have, but like, the ability to kind of change games and make them your oh own. God. I think I found someone who can help you with your dragon project. Go ahead. Is so cool about involved. PC games. Even but like we we just started used. playing a little bit of modded Minecraft a little while ago, and I kind of want to get into it because like, unfortunately, me yes, and my friends will I do this thing. Where, actually, I probably should read this for a well, second. I'll talk when, when I'm just like fetch, walking I around. Mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details Ooh. to your betters, am I right? I uh, learned of a certain stone tablet said to be housed. Ooh, I have that, burial, don't I? A dragon stone said to contain a map of dragon burial sites. I go to Bleak Falls Barrow. Thank you tablet, for no reminding me to go and bring it to me. Simplicity itself. Get that. Do you mean this? Little oh, nice. I have a dialogue option, <laughs> ah, wherein I already have it. Stone of Bleak Falls Barrow. Okay, easiest quest right there. I mean, easy that I've already done it, not easy. In, like, it was... It was work going through these caves. I should have gotten paid for that. So what's next? That is where your job ends and mine begins. The work of the mind. Sadly undervalued in Skyrim. He's dressed like... If anyone's ever played Magicka, he's dressed a little bit like a Magicka wizard. Yeah, that would have sucked if I just had to do that all over again, so... Yeah, okay, so can I steal his plates? Oh, I can't steal his plates. That's... I... You got me all excited for a sec... ...about stealing plates. Where was it seen? What was it doing? I'd take this a bit more seriously if I were you. If a dragon decides to attack Whiterun, I don't know if we can stop it. Let's go. One of the new servants? Remember that I like my meat rare. <laughs> ah, I like that so, kid. Yurileth tells me you came from the Western Watchtower? Yes, my lord. Tell him what Great. you told me standing about around. the dragon. Ooh. Can I still steal plates? Ooh, I can steal plates. You weren't lying. I can't take ta candlesticks, though. Yeah. 
Yes. Caps lock does make you walk slowly. I didn't even think to even check that. How am I not over encumbered now? How, how am I not above my weight limit? Okay, I'm close, so that's how. But, like, I'm in a town. I can just go sell all this crap to them. And then just walk away with There's no time to stand gold. on ceremony, my friend. I need your help again. I want you to go with Irileth and help her fight this dragon. You survived Helgen, so you have more experience with dragons than anyone else here. Anyone else? Oh, I like anyone else in this room? Service. Okay, that makes sense. Me in the stone for far oh, yeah. No, I care so much more about um, stealing stuff and increasing my own personal wealth than the uh, uh, quests of this game. Please. This so easy to just miss stuff because you're stealing arm. plates. Yes. This is what I have stream chat for, is for you guys to fill me in on what I missed while I'm stealing plates. Oh, is this the kind of map that you usually have? No, that makes sense. So winter holds up there. Okay, so we've already walked across, like, not a huge portion of the map, but I can kind of see the, the proportions of it now. Alright, where am I headed? Am I heading back downstairs? Yes. All this standing around is rubbish. You should be taking the fight to the storm clothes. Why does that guy sound like Arnie? <laughs> so these guys like aren't formally aligned with the storm cloaks then. No Lollagagan. I'd be a lot warmer and a lot happier. The gods in Dragon Street say you aided the yard. On behalf of White Run, I thank you. Ooh. Nice. You look tired, friend. Stuff respawns. So basically, I'm, I'm gonna sell my own plate, or their own plates back to them, basically. I'm gonna go find a merchant, probably like right now. It's no fun getting pushed around all the time. That's a temple. I probably can't sell stuff in there. House. Yeah, White Run is neutral. Okay, that makes sense. I just kind of thought, because, um. What's his face? Uh, oh, you, you're finally awake, guy. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Because he told me to go here. I kind of thought that that was. Where is, a, where is a guy I can sell stuff to? I suppose I could go back outside to Cat Guy. I'm not learning any of these names. Like, fantasy names don't stick into my head very easily at all. Because I don't have much to Rorik's kind of nice associate it with, but if you tell me like Alan Wake, I just that's that's pretty easy to remember. Is that there's a heckin' dragon attacking and they're waiting for you? Okay, they can wait for me a little longer. Okay, general goods. I bet you I could sell stuff in there Got something for just and then avoid everybody. carrying around too much. Give a hop. Everything's for. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Okay, so they use, like, the same NPC line whenever you... Okay. Why... Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. Why Why is it not Tickets, letting me... Odds and ends, that sort of thing. Like, click on my stuff. Take a look. Is this what you mean with, like, the, the UI? Okay. All right, so I can sell that. Enter. Oh, I have a troll skull. Yeah, give me a sec, I'm shopping. I've got more important things to do. I don't care if your people are dying. I gotta make money off of my stolen goods. Stolen from you, in fact. You should understand this more than anyone. Should I have, like, equipped up there instead of... See, here's the, like, stupid thing about me and video games, is that I like having money so much... Yeah, no, Sky UI. I'm definitely getting that one before I play next. But this is, like... 
Staying safe, I hope. The weird thing about me in video games is I very much like having money so much more than I like spending that money. I like to see a big number on my screen when I go to a merchant and they say, oh, I can sell you stuff. Okay, so hold on to the pelts is what I'm getting from you. Because there's also that thing of like, okay, if there's like a rare quest item or a rare consumable, I'm never going to use it because I'm afraid, oh, well, oh, I need to save that for whenever the hell. But then I never end up using it, which I know it's like everyone does that. But yeah. Oh, so caps lock in this game is basically like shift lock, I guess. They don't let me uh, buy magic swords that turn people into a pile of ash in the real life. That's true. But in real life, they let me buy, like, you know, a computer that I can play Skyrim on and buy a sword that turns people into a pile of ash and then also play other games that I can uh, buy other things that also do stupid things. I love the mountains. I love... There's big money in enchanting. A decent level enchant on item raises its value immensely. Get to where the item is worth more than what they have in the cash drawer. I... I also do look... Oh, okay. I like buying... I like buying the one house that I have in real life, so hopefully that'll be fun in Skyrim, too. But, like... Oh, this doesn't look good. I love that they have the mechanic in this game. Did she just go the wrong way? Why why did she take the sword out just to put it back? I'm I'm gonna stop questioning it. No signs of any dragon right now. I like that they have that mechanic though they have a limited amount of cash in the cash drawer, because like most other video games I play, you just go you can go to one merchant and you can sell like millions of dollars worth of stuff. And they're just like, yep, I have it, I have it, here you go, here you go. And then you talk to them in their actual dialogue, and they're like, yeah, business has been really struggling, and we haven't really been able to pay for food or anything recently, but they're sitting there able to buy diamonds and trinkets from me. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit confused. Got, like... The best pathfinding ever seen in a video game, I guess. Oh, they're saying something. Let's save us. Here he comes again. Oh. Here he comes. Find cover and make every arrow count. Oh, I probably want my. ideologically obligated to buy anything that you show them at half price. Yeah, no. Oh yeah, they also didn't give me fair market value for my items. They're like the guys from Pawn Stars. A show I have only ever seen on TikTok. Do arrows arc? Like, do I have to aim above or do they just kind of find their target? Can I undraw the bow? Because I don't want to... Okay. Do I have other arrows? Arrows arc a bit. Okay, with sort of realistic physics. Oh, does it automatically equip the other type of arrow when I run out? Oh, okay. At least I can pick it up if I just shoot it near me.
Okay, so we're making good progress on it. Do I remember correctly? Damage the further away you are from the... Okay, so I don't just want to snipe from wherever. I actually do want to get up a little bit close to it. Do I remember correctly that there is a dragon in this game that is played by Charles Martinet? Oh, that's not good. I'm on fire. Oh, it's actually dead. Okay, nice. See, that would have killed me in real life. Why does it have guards armor? It, did it eat it? Amethyst, nice. Dragon bone. Scales. Nice, gold. Arrows. Oh, I'm way overweight now. <laughs> I should have sold so much more stuff in uh, Whiterun. <laughs> Alright. How fast can I walk? Oh, God, no. Okay, I'm dropping something. Um, uh, I, I think it's dead. Is it gonna... Dragon soul absorbed? Oh... Dragon Bones crafting high-end heavy armor. Dragon's good having high-end light armor. Okay. Use the shout section of the magic menu to equip your unrelenting force shout. Is that the one that I got? Oh yeah, that's the one that I got from uh, that dungeon then. Dragonborn. Heavy as heck and worth a lot. In the very oldest tales, back from when there were still dragons in Skyrim, the Dragonborn would slay dragons and steal their power. Oh. That's what you did, isn't it? Absorb the dragon's power. Fusro da. I got Fus. Oh, there's like more to it. Okay. See, I just remember like back when Skyrim was like huge back in, you know, early to mid 2010s. That was like right when I was just starting to get into YouTube stuff because I was in middle school. And I saw people making jokes about that without really knowing exactly what it was. And I kind of figured it out over time, but. There's only one way to find out. Try to shout. That would prove it. According to the old legends, only the Dragonborn can shout without training, the way the dragons do. Dragonborn? What are you talking about? So... Can I... How do I equip it? Right. My grandfather used to tell Stories about Genuinely, at what button do I press to equip it? Those born with the track. Magic. Okay, yeah, that, that actually does make sense. Shouts. Why is that on the right? Unrelenting force. Like old Tiber Septim. You Zed. Okay. Well, yeah. You must be one. Right, actually. Give me one sec. I'm just gonna like bring my camera full screen for a sec. I'm gonna change that setting in Steam so uh, other people's like, um, you know, when other people go into game, it's not coming up just for their privacy. <laughs> Bethesda doesn't really do UI design. Yeah, that makes sense. Turn off for notifications. Um, Steam settings. Notifications. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now I'm... Oh, wait. I need it. 
Need to actually go back to streaming. You believe in this this stream has been, like, surprisingly un problematic. I was expecting to have to fix a lot more stuff Some with how you I'm better off keeping quiet flapping your gums on matters you don't know anything about. I was expecting to have to change a lot Here's more uh, dead dragon. And that's something settings. I definitely understand. Now we know we can kill them. But I don't need some mythical dragonborn. Someone who can put down a dragon is more than enough for me. You wouldn't Bro, understand. Stack or more, deal more you damage. You, you ragged all the guys you shoot at. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. I've seen plenty of things I. I advise you all to trust in the strength of your sword. I love over tales and stupid, powerful stuff. That was shouting. What you just did must be. Only release really for the second stage. Dragon. Hold all the way for the third stage when you land it. So right now, I just need to tap it. But yeah, about the, the like, you know, getting. Where do I go for? All right, so I need to go back to Whiterun. All right, let me let me drop some items. Definitely holding on to the dragon scales, even though they're heavy. I do need to drop a lot of stuff, though. That's not going to be fun. Um. Like, yeah, I could put it in a chest. I could, like, just creep over there until finally I have... I'm there, but, like... I don't wanna. <laughs> oh, I need to get rid of so much stuff. All right, I just need to get with like twenty nine more. So if you didn't realize you need until you sky UI stuff like sorting on weight. Yeah, no, seriously, this is just like <laughs> this UI is genuinely <laughs> complete garbage. Uh, I want to keep the arrows. I don't need that. If I'm throwing anything out that like it does actually, right now you're on the main quest, but you can step off the beaten path branch whenever you want. Nice. I'm definitely going to be doing a little bit. Okay, I need to get rid of one more um, weight unit. I'm just going to call it a kilogram, even though I know it's probably... No, I'm sweat. There we go. I can come back for that stuff later. Alright, I'm just going to go sell some stuff in White Run. Oh, that's kind of cool that the NPCs will interact with you a little bit more. But yeah, what I was saying earlier, um, I don't want to drop valuables because, you know, I want to sell them because greed. But yeah, what I was saying earlier is I love that thing in PC gaming with, like, the community will support so much with mods and stuff. Like, even to the point where if there's a really good game behind a bunch of... What was that? Hmm. I, like, even if there's a game that is, like, really good, but with a bunch of technical problems, I love how the community will support it and, like, make it so that it's actually playable. Like, you know, some Bethesda stuff, like, with the, <laughs> with their UI. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I'm, if you've, you know, watched any, that was plot? What did I miss with the ground shaking? Like, like genuinely. <laughs> DLC size mod, the full voice acting and everything. Yeah, no, seriously. Like, I've been playing some portal mods recently. And, like, the amount of time I have gotten out of that game with people being able to be so creative and, like, add more than just individual test chambers, but, like, whole extra... Story. Like, uh, what is it? Portal Revolution, I think, just came out. Which is, like, this giant community-made thing. And I've been playing it, and it is so much fun. And if if you're at all a fan of Portal, you definitely got to check it out. Uh, I'm guessing that's like a just a general guess. Yeah. Take a good look around. I'm sure. But like obviously, if you've watched my YouTube, you know that I'm kind of more God, let me know. I might have ancient attention of the ancient shouty graybeard guys. Ooh. 
interested to see what happens there. But yeah, obviously, if you've watched my YouTube channel a little bit more, you know that I'm kind of more of a console guy. I like the uh, identity and kind of community behind each console. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. And, uh, but the kinds of stuff that you can do on PC that you just can't do on console is kind of amazing. Um... Is there, like, a place where I can just put down things that I don't need until next time? Like, like a chest, and I can just walk back to it. I know, like, hopefully when I buy a house, I'll have a place to put stuff down there. And also, I'm probably, like, it's getting kind of late, and I got work. Well, well, I mean, is that the actual time? Okay, it's much earlier than I thought it was. I'll do, like, one more quest, and, and then I'm going to... I'm going to do a little bit more exploration, and then I think I'm going to be done for the night, and we'll call the first stream a success, and there are some changes I'm going to make for the next one. Um, come some on. Some may call this junk. Me, I call it Okay, <laughs> but definitely for the next time. I'm... Definitely for the next time, I'm, um... <laughs> Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, getting some of those mods that make the game a little bit more playable. Because even just trying to sell my extra weight, this UI is making me want to put a hole in my computer monitor. <clears throat> yeah. Some factions uh, that give you a bunk, give you stuff the companions, the fighters guild, thieves guild. Mage college. Okay, so... These are the Fighters Guild. Okay. So, there are some places I can put stuff, but I kind of think just for now, I need to be selling stuff. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Like. Okay, I should keep my hammer, or I should keep my arrows. 28, 28. I'm going to sell this one. Um, yeah, let's see. Do come back. Oh, I didn't even look at how much weight am I carrying now. I really don't have much space. Come by shop. I'd even... I'm sure trinkets, odds and ends. That's... Some may call this junk. Okay, Me, kind of press the button. Treasures. Okay, there we go. Oh, I can definitely sell a candlestick. Either way, your route to personal storage lacquer is a medium distance away, probably longer than you like to go and get in the next hour. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Um, If anyone has other ideas for, like, mods and stuff that would make the game a little bit more playable and, like, deal with some of the annoyances here, send those in chat. If you don't uh, think of them now, I, I actually don't know what's the best way to kind of, like, I guess just comments on videos, but that would be a little weird. I'm definitely going to get uh, Sky UI. And probably some of the graphical stuff. Uh, I can sell some glass. Oh, that's buying stuff. Hang on. No, I don't want to buy that. I want to sell stuff. No, come on. Trinkets, odds let me and let me just actually press the button. Thing. What? I'm why? Is... Some may call this junk. Where is? I call them treasures. Okay. Where? Where on that little? Uh, M mouse cursor arrow is the actual hitbox. Stick. Bowl. Bowl. Why were those two separate things? Mm. Kettle is heavy. I want to keep my lockpicks. Do I want to keep skulls or should I should I sell? Ooh. Thank you for that one. I will be checking that back out. That the uh, channel you just recommended. Um, 
They were different bowls? Why were they... They did? Am I just literally blind? Okay, I'm gonna have to just look back at the VOD after I'm done with the stream and... see what I was missing. Um... I can probably sell that. I've got some... Oh, those are zero value. I don't see why I'm selling those. Um... Special edition patch, essential for graphics. You like that? Static mesh improvement. Make objects look a little nicer and have a little more. I like those little kind of subtle improvements as well. Nice. Is the stream like having issues every once in a while? It looks like it's frozen on my stream. So. Interesting. Skyrim graphic. All right. Well, I mean, I've definitely got the computer to run uh, some more graphically intensive ones. And I actually think... People who like help you... Yes, I, I want... I want to sort through my items so much just to... Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a little bit excited about just kind of exploring around for mods now. And so I might actually... I see, okay, I see you moving in the corners. Yeah, no, it's not. The it was, like, loading in my corner for a second. Um, I think I'm actually going to sign off for the night in just a sec here. Uh, and then come back next week with, with some mods, with uh, a little bit more of my wits about me. Probably do a little bit of reading on... Uh, like some of the stats so I'm not relying on or some of the stats some of the like early games that I should look out for so I'm not relying on 20 second delayed chat when I'm a very impatient person um so yeah uh that'll be me for the night thanks everyone for showing up and uh I'm probably gonna do this again Definitely next Sunday, but maybe a little bit earlier. Maybe I might do it a day after work or something. Uh, but I also usually come home from work and feel super tired. So we'll see how that goes, but definitely next Sunday. You'll see a, another scheduled thing pop up. All right, well, thanks for, uh, for you know, you have 800 months. Yeah, no, one of my friends, one of my friends, whenever he was trying to launch Skyrim, would have to sit and wait for, like, literally hundreds of mods to um, to load before he was able to actually get in the game and then like no one was yeah it, it was weird watching that all right thank you guys for showing up again thank thanks for all the nice stuff you guys are saying i'm i'm enjoying doing this and i'm looking forward to next week again so yeah oh i should probably end in obs and not on youtube just in case there's a delay Here, hang on uh, yeah, it, it'll be the same deal as next week, but I'm just rambling. I just need to push the button to end it.